top five things I hate about motorcycling. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you know this is hard as fuck for me, guys, because I I love I love everything about motorcycles and and riding. I've been doing it over 10 years, man, and I'm like a kid on Christmas Day every time I get on my motorcycle. But there's I'm just I'm gonna try to squeak out five things that I dislike about motorcycling. And it's going to be tough, man. And I tell you, this should not dissuade you from getting a motorcycle. I'll tell you that shit right now. All right, we're going to get on my lovely WR250 fucking R. Some urban fuckery out here. But I love this fucking bike, man. But anyways, number one is uh, fucking douchebags. That's what I can't stand about right, uh, fucking the motorcycle community is... You just have these motor, these biker elitists out there, especially you know people that ride the Harleys or the sport bikes, and they think that you only should ride those bikes, and if you don't, you're a faggot or you're not a real man or any of that, or uh, just general douchebaggery where they peep riders think they're better than other riders because of the type of bike they ride or whatever. And that just fucking p pisses me off. You know, and it's no different than racism, man, in my opinion. And I think this shit it really is got to stop, man. Seriously, it's got to fucking stop, dude. But anyways, that shouldn't dissuade you from riding a motorcycle. That's just uh, be aware that they're just... You got good and bad in everything in life. And there's no different with bikers. But I tell you guys, most bikers out here are cool as fuck. Most of them that I met, very rarely have I come across a douchebag. Out here in Ohio, the Harley Riders are absolutely fucking awesome. Everyone I've come to, they invite me over for a beer or something or, or chat it up. I want to see your bike. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing a motor vlog right now. No yeah. I'm sorry to no, it's cool. It's cool. I ride a I got a oh, those are cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is a CBR 600 double R. Yeah, 2008. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, man. Thanks. Take care. Every one of them's been cool, man. So it's very, very few out there. So don't worry about them. Number two. Say number two. Number two, I would say, is how you look after you take your helmet off. <laughs> I'll tell you guys that a helmet will mess you, mess your, can mess your face up and mess your hair up, man. It can leave lines in your fucking face you have in your forehead or your wherever on your cheeks your hair is messed up face sometimes all red and shit if it's hot as fuck out there uh, generally you take your helmet off you're gonna look pretty bad sometimes not always but generally for the most part a lot of us look bad when we take our fucking helmet off if you got longer hair it's gonna be fucked up when you take your hair when you take your helmet off. <laughs> so you might not want to be, you know, go on and uh, be ready, try to be ready for a date, you know, ride your motorcycle to a first time date because you might look pretty fucked up. Woo! <laughs> Riding dirt at night. Gotta love that shit. Woo! Love riding my WR250. Okay, number three. Number three is doing having to do more maintenance on this shit compared to a car. Woo! 
I tell you guys, you gotta do, you gotta clean and oil the chain every fucking like three to five hundred miles. You gotta fucking uh, you gotta change the tires often. I mean, it's not like a car where you do very little maintenance, you know, and just be able to drive a lot. You gotta do more maintenance on this shit, and it can be kind of irritating, you know. But that's just something you gotta you gotta play to pay. I mean, you gotta what is that? What's that saying? You gotta you gotta pay to play or work. You gotta work to play too. Depends on what you wanna do. If you wanna pay somebody to do that shit or do it yourself and say what you gotta put in the work or pay. Either way, you gotta pay to play or work to play. Either way, I would say number four is you can't ride in the winter time you can ride in the winter I ride in the winter time but you can't ride should I say on heavily snowy days out here on the streets because what's awesome about this WR250R actually is awesome though is that uh, you can ride this baby um, in the snow off road and have fun that's what's awesome about this bike man it, amongst many other things I just love this bike but Woo! love this bike but yeah you know with regular street bikes you can't on a, if it's a blizzard outside you can't ride your bike nope unless you want to have a fucked up day and slide or somebody slide into you just way too dangerous but I do ride in the winter time as long as the roads are clear. I don't care how much fucking snow is on the ground. As long as it's not on the street and it's at least 40 degrees outside, Cycle Cruise is riding. If you look back at my videos, I ride all year round, baby. All year round. There's no way in hell I'm winterizing my bike. Fuck that. But number five. Okay, number five. Man, it's hard. I tell you, it's hard picking five things it's, that I hate about motorcycles. I would say, and this is pretty trivial, and like I said, this I, I'm digging here, guys, is that I can't, uh, that the bikes don't come standard, should I say all the bikes don't come standard with the uh, a turn signal uh, cutoff. Some of them do. I think uh, I know Harley. Some of the Harleys have the uh, the turn can turn signal cancel. You know where it cancels out the turn signal after so many seconds, which is awesome. That's when I rode that Harley Davidson Breakout. That's one thing I loved about that bike is that it had the uh, the turn signal cutoff. Man, I wonder if these are self canceling turn signals. Yeah, self canceling turn signals, guys. That's perfect for cycle cruiser. <laughs> I need it, man. I wish I had that on my bike. That was fucking awesome. They should put that on all the bikes. Why don't they do that, man? I don't want to have to go through the trouble of putting that shit on. So you, you motorcycle manufacturers out there, listen. I hope you're watching this and you make that change. I'm sure it's not that expensive to add that as on the bike standard it should be standard man you know because you have some dickheads out there like me that like to leave the turn signal on often you know like a dickhead and uh so that will help us dickheads out <laughs> but hey guys that's all i have for hey i want to hear your five things that you hate about motorcycling and like I said, none of this should deter you at all. This is just digging, guys, I'm telling you. But, uh, you know, there are some things that kind of annoy you. And those are my top five things. I want to hear your top five things you hate about motorcycling. But, maybe, but hey, guys, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. and uh, But don't let this discourage them. Because I, I need the next video I need to do is top five things I love about motorcycling. Because I can come up with a thousand things I love about motorcycling. But that's all I have for you guys. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.
deuces. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.